So for today, we're going to be looking at the Twisting Echo Armor for the Hunter. I don't have it on every class uh, specifically because I've not been playing Destiny 2. I've been playing Final Fantasy 14, as you guys already know, probably. But yeah, we're going to be looking at the Hunter set real quick. This is not going to be a long video. I'm just going to be showing you the armor itself, how it shaders, and what I would do with it. Uh, but yeah, if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe really does help the channel grow, and I appreciate y'all who do it. But other than that, let's just get right into it. So... This is it. This is the armor itself. I think it looks really cool. Um, there are a few pieces where I actually don't even like it to be for real. The helmet I think is whack. I hate it. The arms are very hit or miss. I can see myself using it on certain pieces, but on other pieces, I'm just like, no. Uh, chest piece, I actually think it's okay. Um, it's mainly this part that I don't like uh, other than that like you can definitely still use this I think the boots are definitely the strongest aspect of this armor and the cloak itself I mean, I think the cloak is another strong part. So If you were to ask me which pieces I think is viable to use I think everything except the helmet is viable I think the arms are still very viable with specific builds uh, the chest piece is also very good for specific builds and the boots and the cloak I think can be very versatile with a lot of things obviously um, so let's look at how it actually shaders real quick so if you guys don't know you actually can get this shader it's called the in silvered snare it's for doing the solo flawless of the dungeon but yeah it's essentially just this color scheme um, it's pretty cool not gonna lie it shaders really well thankfully because if it didn't shader well that be a little problematic but again i do like the fact that it shaders really well um some of my favorite shaders would be like cryptic insignia which i think looks okay it's a little bit a lot of cracks in it which means a lot of gray or black so be aware of that this also looks really cool wow uh let's do carmenica this is, this is a shader i always use this is like one of my staple sh shaders um and again we're just going to be going through the shaders to see which one looks good which one does not look good and okay so now we can see some glows a little bit here and there it's really weird though because for specific like shaders the whole ball comes up and not like right here it looks like it's glowing that looks like it's glowing as well but for this one the glow is like in lines which is really strange i'm not against it i mean you just you just have to use uh correct shaders with it but again it shaders pretty well the only unfortunate part that i'm actually seeing right now is that the this these two right here are different are, are the same while the pants are completely different i mean at that point you could you you could treat the pants like regular how you usually wear pants where it's like it's not the same color as your shirt usually so that's pretty cool i guess i probably wouldn't really fuck with that like this looks really cool this looks super super dope so let's actually see what i would do with this so for me i would probably lean in heavy oh oh before that i do actually have to show you this as well because i mean obviously if you do wear some a helmet like this where it takes off the cloak it actually puts down the cloak which i think every cloak needs i think this is a great idea i would love to see this in other cloaks bungie i would love to see this on every cloak honestly because that's a cool idea i love it love it or just give us the option to actually just take it out or put it down that would be really cool as well so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that you guys can do that um as for what i would actually do with this look i would probably like i said lean in on the boots so <clears throat> probably this one i would love to keep the arms but again i'm not a big fan of using more than two pieces unless like a build just looks that good with it and even then i still have like limitations on that as well uh something pointy for this one would be dope for sure do i have oh this one for sure and then for this one, I guess we can use. Uh, maybe. I still and I still want to make a video actually showing you guys my my actual. Uh, transmog like process, because this is not my process. Usually this is very on the fly and I'm much slower with this so that's why like 
some of this may not look cool as cool as in my head but like something like this i would probably rock maybe with another shader if i'm being quite honest um let's go all the way in the beginning let's do like something like this actually looks pretty cool to me although i'm using the same shader so i would probably just use like Yo, this looks pretty cool. Oh, that's right in the red up here. Mm -hmm. I actually fuck with this. Now I get into the neat, like the meat of it, which means let's do this. No. So now I'm trying to find. No, if it was reverse, probably. So now where my head is going is I want to have. There we go. That's what I wanted. And that's pretty much it. That would be my. Mm, actually. Let's switch out. So like that let's switch out this. So then I would want red for this, like legitimate red. Just so I can like fuck with it. If I can find a red. There we go. Although it's a little distressed. I that's the only thing is I don't like the distressed look. I would much rather have just a red. But the thing is, I don't know if there is a shader that just gives you a red. Like this looks cool too, but there's like a lot of black on it. Um, this one? No. Ooh, what is that color? That's a pretty cool color, but no. Again, I am. Okay, I'm gonna fuck with that one. That one looks really good. Let's go with the boots. Switch them out because I need. I want. So what I'm I'm going for here is white on the pants and then white or red on no way. No yeah yeah yeah. Red on the pants and then white on the actual like armor because is that it so yeah like something like this maybe even change the chest piece out so i can incorporate some red in there <clears throat> but you guys see like how i'm actually doing it i i'm incorporating not only the spiky bits but i'm also incorporating colors in it as well this is really how i usually do this um I don't like that. Also, I'm sorry if I'm making that like noise a lot, like the uh, this noise. I'm, I, it's just a bad habit that I have. Um, you know what? I actually, no, 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 not that one. I actually don't mind. Oh, wait, what about this? See, this looks cool, but it also looks bad in my opinion because I want to lean in with spiky, like something spiky. But I don't hate this. It actually looks pretty dope. Uh, maybe this one? No. Because I also don't want to have a glow since this one doesn't have glow. That's too bit too bulky for my taste. And again, this is really where where I flex a little because I start going into like really nitty gritty of it where it's just I'm trying to make my character look really cool, but also staying within the parameters that I've given myself. Um, actually, something like this would be pretty cool. And then just rotate the colors or actually I actually fuck with this. So this is just a very like fast thing that I would do with with the boots. This is something that would look cool to me. Would I wear it? Probably not just because um, again, this is a little bit on the too fast. I like to like really think about how the look is going to go although i do really like the grips of the hunt with this set and i would probably actually let's see if i can find a good shader for it because if i could get the red on the actual armor piece then it would look pretty fire oh yeah something like that would look cool yeah see that looks really cool and man this looks fucking cool actually so i think the only part that i would switch out is a chess piece again like this is such a prog process for me that most of the time i'm like really just trying to like pinpoint like okay this per this part is perfect and then i'll do something else that will really change it up and be like oh now i have to switch it up again like th something like this would actually not be the worst thing in my head but definitely switch out something like this and then at this point it, it looks cool to me like this looks really cool so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below i absolutely like 
like not love but i really do like this set i think the the warlocks have the strongest one i'll do those videos when i can unfortunately like i said i haven't been playing destiny too much so i am not there yet for my other classes although some of them almost are done like legitimately i think my titan's almost done as well yeah three pieces so my titan might be next week my warlock actually might be this week if i get both of these but my warlock i'm gonna have a lot of good things to say in my titan uh, I, I don't know we'll see but that's pretty much it i don't have a lot of videos planned yet just because uh certain things are holding me back but i will have as many videos as i could possibly give you guys but be safe and i'll see you guys later